द मेजर स्लाविक क्लैंड्स इंक्लूड पेरोटिड सबमेंटुबुलर एंड सबलिंगल क्लैंड्स दीज आर कंपाउंड ट्यूबुलर एस इन आर क्लैंड्स ईच ऑफ विच इज सराउंडेड बाय अ कैप्सूल ऑफ डेंस इरेगुलर कनेक्टिव टिश्यू फ्रॉम द कैप्सूल कनेक्टिव टिश्यू सेप्टा एक्सटेंड इन टू द ग्लैंड एंड डिवाइड इट इन टू लोब्स एंड लोब्यूल्स द सेप्टा कैरी टर्ट्स नर्व्स ब्लड वेसल्स एंड लिम फेसल्स दिस इज लाइट ऑफ पेरोटिड ग्लैंड The parenchyma of parotid gland consists of only serous acini. The serous acini are spherical structures, each consisting of secretory epithelial cells arranged around the central cavity. The serous cells of acini are generally pyramidal in shape, with a broad base facing the basal lamina and a relatively narrow apical surface facing the lumen of the acinus. Each cell contains a spherical nucleus located in the basal part of the cells. The apical region of serous cells contains numerous secretory granules called zymogen granules. The apical portion of a serous cell stains eosinophily due to presence of large number of zymogen granules. Parotid gland is purely serous gland. The secretory product of the parotid gland is thin and watery and consists mainly of alpha amylase and proline rich protein. Myoepithelial cells are found to be located between the basement membrane and basal plasma lemma of the serous cells. The salivary ducts are classified into three types: number 1 interglated duct, number 2 striated duct and number 3 excretory duct. Acini open into interglated ducts that have a small diameter and are lined by simple cuboidal epithelium. Several interglated ducts open into a striated duct which has a much larger caliber and is lined by a single layer of low columnar epithelial cells. The interlobular ducts are lined by simple columnar epithelium and interlobar ducts are lined by pseudo stratified columnar epithelium. Main duct is lined by stratified columnar that changes to stratified squamous non keratinized near its opening adipose cells are abundant in the connective tissue of parotid gland